Hi guys, this is Frank here with the uh, Die Hard RC Addicts, and I got my SK450 out here. I've done a little bit of add-ons to it. I've added some LED lights. I put white LED lights on the front and red on the back, and then the X on the bottom as, as well. Um, I did this to help with orientation, because I'm still having problems with orientation on quads, so I'm hoping this will help out a lot. So let's get in the air and see what it looks like. It's about dusk right now, so I should still be able to see them pretty well. All right, here goes. Even though it's not completely dark outside right now, you can still see them fairly decent. A little bit of wind. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't flown it in a while. The weather's been uh, pretty bad lately. Yeah. We've probably got, what, three to five mile an hour winds right now. Yeah, it's pretty mild actually out right now. I'm just, the orientation thing is still something I need to work on. Yeah, it's starting to get a little darker. You can see the lights a little better on the camera. Yeah, these are the waterproof lights that I got from Hobby King. They're the they got the regular LEDs and they got these ones which are waterproof. They're in like a clear rubbery plastic, which is kind of cool. So if they do happen to land in that snow over there, they won't short out. It was pretty easy to add them onto the quad too. I was able to just solder them onto the the solder board on the quadcopter where the battery uh, leads uh, solder to it. So it was just two different uh, colors that I got, and they came in like one meter lengths. So I used one for the back, which is the red, and the white one's in the front. And it's all just one piece, and they got sticky tape on one side, so it's pretty easy to just put them on there. Um, I did fasten them down a little bit better too with some zip ties, just to make sure they don't come off. I think it works pretty good as far as orientation goes. I just need to get my skills down better. Now, I'm going to let it 
bring it in. It's getting pulled out. Now we're back home, I wanted to give you a better look at the LED lights that I added onto my quadcopter. Um, as I was saying earlier, these are just two strips. They were one meter long. It's one piece continuous. And it was real easy to add on to here. And they basically just solder on to the solder tabs down here. They're already pre-wired on one side, so I just ran the wires down and re-soldered them onto the leads here where the battery leads are. And there's just two pieces, the red one going here. And on the front side, I have the white ones going around like that, all as one piece. And on the bo this is the bottom side, so I have the white front part of the X is white. And then on the very front of it, I have the LED lights actually facing forward, so I can tell when the quadcopter is coming towards me. And then on the back side, they're also facing to the back instead of down. So the ones on the bottom are facing down and then the front and the back are facing forward or rearward and I thought this would help with orientation it seemed like it did do a pretty good job so I'm pretty pleased with the results and it was a real simple easy thing to do and soldering them onto those leads um, they come on automatically as soon as you plug in the battery so I don't have to mess with switching them on and off with my radio or anything like that but I suppose you probably could add a switch to it if you wanted to anyways um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit better how it looks I'll be sure to put a link in the video information bar to the LED lights. Um, and I just want to say thanks to all you guys for tuning in. And see you guys again soon here on Die Hard RC Addicts.